everybody at Homewood. There were some questions in the um, ABX audio file Discord, and there's been some questions for me overall about Artivana and search and storage and things like that. So I thought I'd do a quick, very low production video on where those things lie. So uh, we're talking about Artivana Studio. So I'm gonna go ahead and start Artivana Studio. And this is the latest version, uh, been updated, and it's just going into its startup right now. So when you're setting up Otterbana, and I'm gonna to go to the setup menu, which is these little slider things up in the upper right-hand corner. When you go over here, you can choose local, and local will show you, uh, and you can indicate where your stored folders, your, your uh, locally stored music files are. Um, I have a ton of them. I'll show you in a minute. Um, back in the day, I was a Zune user, and of course the Zune software was kind of all you could eat on downloads, but of course they were just MP3 and relatively low resolution, but I got some stuff there I just can't find anywhere else. And then of course my SACD uh, folder, which has about 500 SACD or DSF files in it, uh, or albums in it. So this is automatically set up to search. I can research, I can delete, whatever. And then the other thing too is to rescan folders for changes at each start. So I have it set to do that, although I haven't added anything, in a, added anything in a long time. Now, it will, along the top at right edge of the screen, there'll be a, a bar, a white line that will turn blue over time as it scans your local files. <clears throat> now, one of the other things you can do is metadata recovery. You can have Otervana retrieve missing metadata from Music Brains. It doesn't, it doesn't modify the audio file, but it does grab artwork and information about the particular album. And then it saves the recovered uh, track ID information in your local audio files metadata. So <clears throat> if you wanted to go back in and edit, if you do edit metadata, I do recommend uh, MP3 tag. It's a free piece of software uh, out of Germany. It works extraordinarily well. It's not very difficult to use. Use it a couple times, you'll figure it out. Um, and so, it will search Music Brains for metadata and, and information. It will also Im embed that into your local metadata. Now it's showing me here that I have 17,427 tracks that they could not find any Music Brains ID metadata from. And if I want to, I could resume the analysis. So I don't really care because again, I don't play a lot of local files. And if I do, it's going to be a DSD file or something like that. Now, audio signal analysis is I can set some files are low gain, some files are high gain, a lot of newer stuff coming off of um, Tidal or Cobuzz um, is highly compressed and very loud, uh, and older stuff tends to not be so loud. I could have Artivana equalize that gain across all the files in my local thing to make it just a little more consistent. I haven't done it, I don't really care about it, I'll adjust my volume. So then on maintenance side of things, you can have it obviously rebuild your database integrity, rebuild the indexes, complete the defragmentation of the database. I haven't had any issue with that. You can search by, you know, you want alphabetical order, do you want it what language, right? And then the database file path. So that's kind of interesting. Now, um, you, you can back up your local favorites playlist, artist pictures, so forth and so on. Um, it will put that information in metadata Every once in a blue moon when I think about it, I go ahead and do back it up. So based on this local tab, you can obviously add any local uh, music files you have off of a hard drive. So, and you can search it and I'll show you that in just a second. Now, when we come over to streaming, one of the things that we have is, I use Cobuzz and so it shows my account, what level of Cobuzz I have. And then you'll see editorial info by Cobuzz. Now, I choose to use title for the editorial info. So even if it's a local file of mine, it will pop up the album art and then it will show me other albums by that artist, not only locally, but also what's available on title. And if I play a local file, and I'll, I'll show you guys all this in a second. And if I choose to play a local file, it gives me the option to play the title version of it, if let's say my local file is a, you know, 128 kilobit MP3, but I don't, I and I don't haven't looked for the particular album because it's a bit obscure. But if title's got it, then I have the option of playing it, and adding it to my favorites list, and so forth. So I do let title 
fill in the information, the editorial information. And that's really, I think, an uh, important thing because it makes the experience much more uh, rewarding. So again, that's on the local files. Now, I'm going to go ahead and come back out, leave this and go back to where my, uh, these are my albums that are favorited. And you'll see here I have it in my music, which is just the stuff that I've saved in Artivana for myself. Uh, one of the things I like about Artivana is I can combine, and I'll just pick this playlist, I can combine, let me show the tracks, I can combine information from Tidal, Cobas, whatever. So you'll see there's files from Tidal in this playlist, there's files from Cobas in this playlist. So I have one playlist that can tap both my streaming sources, which I really do like a lot. Um, now, when I go to local, and I'm going to minimize this just to get some extra space, and people were talking about search in Tidal and Cobas, and I'll show that you can search from this window in Tidal and Cobas, but under Tidal, you can explore and it will give you up new stuff, staff picks, things like that. This isn't a search necessarily for you to pick out a specific thing, but it's like when you start up Tidal in its home screen and its native app, it gives you a, the ability to uh, see what it suggests. Then you can show your playlist, and that's cross-platform, uh, or playlist suggested by Cobuzz, excuse me, title. In the My Music tab, those playlists are my playlists. Let me go back there for just a second and show you something real quick. So when I show up my playlist, these are my playlists. These are built in uh, Audivana. When I come down here, these are my title playlists, and they're entitled regardless of what device I'm using, on my phone, in the car, whatever. Same with Cobuzz. So my Streaming services playlists live under my music, my playlists. But under the title playlist, those are suggested recommended playlists. This is kind of familiar stuff if you've ever done a playlist search in uh, Tidal or Cobuzz. And then you can search by genres. And then you can do my music, which is the stuff I like, my favorite tracks, my favorite albums, so forth and so on. And it's exactly the same in Cobuzz, although Cobuzz phrases it a little bit different. They call it favorites. And then you have ability to access any purchased music you had from um, Cobuzz. And Cobuzz taste is the same as kind of exp the s explore or, um, you know, uh, recommended things. Now, under local, you'll see a, a several different tabs. Let me minimize this real quick. And you'll see albums, artists, tracks, genres, recently added, high res, MQA, DSD, and CD. I'm not sure about the MQA stuff. But anyway... Under albums, it'll search all my albums. And this is by album artist. And I have 3,024 albums with 41,314 tracks. Now, when I click on an album like this, this happens to be just a single song. And then other albums from The Cure, these would be local. You can tell because it's got a little house next to it. If it was something other than that, it would show the streaming services icon. So let me go over here to uh, this Time Out by Dave Brubeck. If I were to go ahead and start playing this, it would offer me the ability to play the title one, right? These are all the locally stored ones I have. Now, if I go to hit play, it will give me a play, but I'm not playing, but it is also a DSD file. So it's not gonna offer me a title version because there is no title version. So if I come over here to something else that's not, a DSD file. Uh, this is the Doobie Brothers. This is an old MP3. Then it shows me other albums from the Doobie Brothers, not only locally, but I can also search across different the different platforms, Cobuzz or Tidal. So let me go ahead and shut that down real quick. So under albums, you search this by, it, it's actually searching by album artist. And you can see over here, it gives you an alphabetical search if you want to. Then under artists, it's searched by artist, and I have 869 artists, and you can search by in the individual artist alphabetically if you wish. Then you can search by tracks, and again, there's 41,000 plus tracks. Then I can search by genre, and these genres are very confusing, and I don't use it at all. Then recently added, which is really nothing recently added because I haven't added anything to that. High res will bring up anything that's 24 bit, 48 or higher, or DSD. And then, of course, MQA, I don't have any MQA because I don't do it. And DSD shows all my DSD stuff. And again, I have 493 albums in DSD. 
So if I wanted to search for something, and I'm going to go ahead up here to the search bar, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to search Bob Dylan. Right? It'll come up Bob Dylan, and it'll show me all of the different Bob Dylan stuff I have. So I have Bob Dylan here. So I can search by artist. Let me go ahead and finish the, the entry. Okay, so now it'll, it'll search locally and CoBuzz and titles should pop up with all of the different stuff. So here we see under artists, Bob Dylan, local with a house, Bob Dylan, title indicated, Bob Dylan, CoBuzz. I can search by album, whether it's title, a title HD file, a COBA, an MQA file, HD, uh, a local file. I have all of that ability here to search, uh, and I can search just by artist if I want to. I can search by composers, playlists, radio stations, it does that, podcasts, if there's something going on about that. So if I, let's say I want to do uh, albums, I can click see all, and in all of the albums from any of the services, local or Tyler Cobas, are all going to show up here so that I have access to everything. So I know that this particular one is a DSD file because it's local and it's HD. I know that this one is title and it's MQA because it's the MQA logo. If I scroll down, I'm sure I can find a CoBuzz. There's a CoBuzz HD. Again, HD in Artivana is going to be, I think, 24-bit. It can be 24-bit, 44.1 or higher. So it can all the way up to whatever, you know, 32-bit, 368, whatever silliness there is. So that's how you search in Cobas. Now, you go up here to search results, and what your previous searches will show up. Now, I didn't choose anything from Dylan. And again, I can always go backwards, and I could go backwards again to look at the local searches to see what I've come up with. And if I want to search by artist locally, search by artist on title, or search by artist on Cobas, I can. So that's how we search in Otterbana. And again, it searches across all your different services, whatever that happens to be. Now, actually, it's showing me that there's a radio, an internet radio station that's Bob Dylan tracks. It's showing me a podcast that's about Bob Dylan. It's showing me Bob Dylan on Coba. It's showing me Bob Dylan locally. And I, obviously, there's stuff on title as well, which is right here. So that's the way you search on um, in Audubon. Now, another way you can find stuff is, is I'm going to go to an artist and I'll go ahead one that I listen to frequently. Um, and just cause I really like his music. So here's a guy named David Arkenstone's new age. It's, you know, and it'll show local albums and then it'll show local albums as composer. And then it'll show albums from title because that's where I get my metadata information. So again, I'm searching a local artist on my hard drive and I've got them favored. And then it shows the most popular tracks. Now those happen to be titles, most popular tracks, not mine. And then it comes down and shows all the local albums I have. It'll come down and show local albums as the composer that are on my hard drive. And it'll show all the albums from him on uh, title because that's who I'm using for my metadata and album information. So if I come here and I pick an album and I'm just going to scroll down and pick one here real quick. And this happens to be a high res that I ripped. Right? This is Citizen Time Lossless. I have, and it's a WAV file. It gives me the option to listen to the title version if I wish to. I can listen to my local file or I can listen to a title version. Where that comes in handy is we do, let's say you have local files and you have something that's a bit obscure and you're not sure you might have the wrong artist on it because a lot of times the metadata information that you get from if, if you know you converted it from you ripped it off of spotify you ripped it off cd that can be hard especially wave files because they don't contain very much metadata you have the option now to find additional information by going to the title version if there is a title version well hopefully that's helped you guys do some more search stuff um, it is i think a, a powerful tool within Artivana. Is it the same as searching in Tidal or Cobus? No, but I'm in one piece of software that I don't ever have to leave. Plus, the benefit of Artivana's sound quality is immense. It's so much better than the individual streaming services app. 
Uh, and I would contend that, in my humble opinion, that the sound quality off of Artivana is better than Rune, J River, or any of the other quote unquote bit perfect um, streaming software applications. And again, the ability to combine my streaming services into one spot, the ability to create playlists from a variety of sources, all in one playlist, all in one spot, makes it very, very convenient. Oh, one other thing too, is if you want a little additional album art information, it's here and available. And again, remember this is an HD file, so this is a DSD folder. But let me show you one other quick thing. Actually, I'm gonna do a separate video about it, and that's analyzing audio tracks to find out if they're truly high res. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section below. Uh, I appreciate your time. And again, I'm happy to help anybody who has any questions. Thanks so very much. Have a great day.